I couldn't find any tutorials on making objects float on water in Mantaflow for Blender, so I thought I'd make one. Um, if we press play, also created a collision effector on Suzanne, the monkey head, and there you have it. This is a 100% physics Mantaflow's water simulation. And yeah, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna make objects float in Mantaflow. First thing I'm gonna do is press numpad one, press S to scale the default cube, press G to grab it, Z to lock it to the Z axis, and just bring it up above this red line. This default cube, I'm gonna rename domain. And then we're gonna go into wireframe mode, and while we add it, we might as well go to the physics properties, fluid, domain, liquid we can up the resolution here if you want a really nice effect but leave it at 32 especially if you have a potato pc just to run the experiment to make it work make sure it works you can always up it later right the next thing we want to do is make sure that mesh is selected and we'll leave it at, at 250 frames we will change this to all and we will click resumable and i'm quite happy with that now we're going to press shift a mesh and we're going to add a cube. We're going to press G, Z. We're going to chuck it there. Now we're going to press S to scale it, but we're going to hold in Shift Z and then release. And now we're only scaling on the X and Y axis. And we're going to do it to about there. And this is going to be our fluid flow liquid geometry. This is going to be our static water at the bottom. Perfect. Now the next thing we want to do, and we, let's just name this cube static, or let's call it base water. That's probably a bit more accurate because it's not going to be static. Base water. Perfect. Next thing we want to do is shift A, mesh, and we're going to use some UV spheres. Why not? I'm going to chuck one over there and click fluid, flow liquid and we can leave it on geometry as well and we can just press shift d now that we've set it up x and chuck one here as well the next thing we want to do now that we've got this all set up we want to select the domain and we want to bake and i will see you once it's baked the full 250 frames all right so now that that is we have uh, baked that let's press play just to see how it looks so we've got two liquid things jumping there. And yes, that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. All right, now the next step is to make sure that, it, that an object floats on you. Well, one thing we can do is we're gonna create a new collection. We're gonna call this collection flow. And we're gonna chuck all these flow stuff into the flow group. And we can just hide them for now. We don't need them. Next thing we want to do is press Shift A, Mesh, Plane, G, lock it to the Z axis, and let's bring it up over here. Somewhere there should be fine, just above the water. Perfect, now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna press Tab to go into Edit Mode, right click, Subdivide, click on the subdivision over here, and let's up this to 30 or more. 30 should be more than fine for what we're trying to do. And with that selected, we're gonna to go to the Object Data Properties, we're going to, with all the uh, vertices selected, we're going to place plus, select group, assign. That's very important. Next thing you want to do, now that, we, now that we can go back into object mode, we're going to go to modifier, add modifier, shrink wrap. And we're going to have a shrink wrap modifier on the domain. And you can select the vertice group as well. So if we press play now, you can see it's moving based on the water, which, which is crucial. Now let's go back to frame one. Next thing you wanna do is press Shift A, Mesh, and let's use a random default object. Ah, monkey face will do. We're gonna J, G, Z, just chuck him up here. And why not add a subdivision surface file like we did in the previous example to make it look a little bit more realistic. And once you've done that, we want to click on the object constraint properties and we're going to add one and we're going to say copy location and we are going to select that plane we just created 
but we need to select the vertice group as well so that it moves properly, else it won't. So now when we press play, it's as simple as that. We've basically, you, I think this is the first tutorial on YouTube that uses Mantaflow in this way. Well, that I couldn't find one, so I thought I'd make one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. There's a few things now you, what you'd want to do. We're done with the tutorial. Now I'm going to just make it look a little bit more pretty. Um, right, so the first thing I'm going to do is select the ocean. Right click, shade smooth. And you can increase the verts and render it that way. I'm not going to do that purely because this is a tutorial. And we're just going to select a watercolor. And no, 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 no. Nice and bright. And then we're going to go down here and make sure that the transmission is one. So it just looks a little bit more real. Next thing you want to do is select this plane, hide. In fact, a big thing that, you, you, that you'd want to do, let's select this over here and let's bring it into this collection. Everything you want to see you can go in collection one. Everything that you want to hide can go into flows. Well, technically this is not a flow, but it, I guess it's connected to it. Um, one thing you want to do is click on this camera icon and we are going to just uh, disable everything here in the render view. So none of this um, renders out. Next thing we want to do is select Suzanne, as it's called, the monkey face. Let's create a material for this. And uh, let's choose, da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's, let's make it black. Like that. Right click shade smooth. Okay, black like that looks good, but let's add another material, new. Let's just mess with the eyes because you know why not? Let's press tab three to go on face select and alt. Let me zoom in. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to press shift and just select all of these over here. I'm gonna do the same over here. And let's choose a different color for the eyes. You know, like I don't know, red. Let's try that. Sign. Let's press tab. And I'm quite happy with that. So now when we go back to frame one and we press play. I quite like how that looks. Now, you're probably wondering how will this look if we move the monkey head? Well, the only way to move the monkey head is to select the plane which I'm just going to put it chuck over here for a second I don't need to see the rest let's press I'm going to press G X let's chuck it there and let's hide it and let's go back to frame one So that looks pretty cool. Now there might be one final step or one final thing you might want to do is you might want to make sure that this actually forms part of the simulation in some way. And one way that you'd probably want it to form part of, let's go to the physics properties, fluid, effector, and leave it on collision. And click, uh, this is normally if it's a flat object. Um, uh, I don't know if I should select it. I'm going to select it. Okay, cool. With that selected, I'm going to select this over here. And I'm going to free all. And I'm going to bake. And I'll see you once this is done rendering. All right, let's go back to frame one. And now let's play. There we go. You can see it's affected by the object, which is great. Although, to be honest, I don't necessarily like this effect more than... I like the previous effect. Let's try without planar. All right, let's try it now. I've, I've, I've taken planar off Suzanne uh, to get this effect, and let's see if it works properly now. The one issue is that this might be a bit too close to the edge, but that's e the exact effect I'm looking for. This is brilliant. I would say the object is a little bit too close to the edge, and that's why it looks a bit funny there, but this is quite realistic. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this. I mean, this is probably the first video that does this. 
Cheers.